Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, good evening. It is an honor to join you tonight in acknowledging the remarkable achievements of the Jewish Community Relations Council and honor three tremendous leaders, Jeff Gorel, Gene Lachmansky, and Bill Thompson, for their remarkable dedication to the Jewish community, as well as the community at large. These leaders, in their own way, helped build a better New York and a stronger, more inclusive community. They each understand the, importance, the important contributions of the JCRC's activities in fostering positive relationships and promoting a world where diversity is celebrated and the Jewish community is valued. The JCRC has been at the forefront of fostering meaningful connections between diverse groups and strengthening the spirit of the Jewish community. In a world that often feels divided, it is through bridge building efforts that we can break down barriers, dispel mis misconceptions, and cultivate an atmosphere of harmony and mutual respect. As part of these efforts, it is essential to acknowledge the significance of JCRC's study tools to Israel, which allow those traveling to gain a better sense of the reality on the ground. The JCRC study tours have, pro have provided individuals with first-hand exposure to the complexities, challenges, and vibrant spirit of the land. By stepping foot on Israeli soil, participants gain a deeper understanding of the realities faced by its people. Before I close, I'd like to express our deep gratitude to the leadership of the Jewish Community Relations Council, President Ben Golub, Chair of the Board, Cheryl Fishbein, CEO Gideon Taylor, and CEO Emeritus Michael Miller. They have been instrumental in steering the JCRC towards success. Their visionary guidance, tireless efforts, and unwavering commitment have paved the way, paved the way for meaningful change and progress. Thank you for being part of this special evening, and may our collective efforts inspire us to create a future where bridges unite us all. Thank you. Hello, JCRC. It's Senator Chuck Schumer, and I hope you're enjoying your 2023 Spring Gala. I really want to congratulate tonight's awardees who are being recognized for their extraordinary contributions to New York and the Jewish community. A longtime friend of mine, Jeffrey Goral, winner of the Community Builder Award. My friend and JCRC Vice President, Gene Rogmansky, winner of the Blumberg Family Young Leadership Award, and another good friend, Bill Thompson, winner of the Public Service Award. Congratulations on receiving these coveted awards, and thanks for your work on behalf of New York's Jewish community and New Yorkers of all faiths and backgrounds. As you know, Chuck Schumer and the JCRC have been friends for nearly four decades. Over the years, I've worked with many of your leaders to make the JCRC great. Cheryl Fishbein, Ben Gallup, Gideon Taylor, and of course, the great Michael Miller. We started out together and did a lot of great things together, including funding the Nonprofit Security Grant Program to protect our religious institutions from hate crimes and attacks. That was something that Michael and I devised together, and now there's $305 million in the budget for it. It's a great thing. And we've worked on so much else together, all of us, JCRC and Chuck Schumer defending Jews against hate crimes and attacks, supporting a strong Israel, and so much more. So, as the highest ranking Jewish American in elected office, in fact, the highest ranking Jewish American ever 
in politically elected office, I remain committed to, as ever to fighting for all of you. Congratulations again to the honorees and I look forward to a continued great relationship with the JCRC for many more years to come. Hello and welcome. I'm Senator Kirsten Gillibrand and I'm delighted to welcome you all to JCRC's Spring Gala. And congratulations to the honorees. My thanks to Gideon Taylor, Executive Vice President and CEO of JCRC New York, for all your incredible leadership, as well as to all the staff for your dedication and hard work. And thank you to the many attendees here tonight for your philanthropy and commitment to serving your community. I also wanna recognize my longtime friend, CEO Emeritus, Michael Miller. JCRC New York is an extraordinary organization that does essential work building bridges in our community and working to advance the values, interests, and security of the Jewish community. As we celebrate Israel's 75th birthday this year, we honor the long friendship and shared interests of the United States and Israel. It's critical, especially in this time of rising anti-Semitism, that congressional support for Israel remains a fundamental and bipartisan priority. I have fought for funding for Israel's defense and security, as well as for funding to ensure the security of the Jewish community in the United States, and I will continue to do so. I wanna thank you all again for everything you do, and I look forward to continuing our work together now and in the future. It is an honor to join you all at JCRC Spring Gala. I want to congratulate and thank the JCRC for all you do for the Jewish community and for New York City. I know I have said it before, but you know how to get stuff done. I am proud that 1.6 million Jews call New York City home, the largest Jewish community in the world outside of Israel. New York City will not be the city it is without our Jewish community. And I want you to know I will continue to be this community's champion just as I have been for so long. Protecting our Jewish community is one of my most sacred responsibility. Last year, I went to Athens, Greece and joined 53 mayors from 23 countries to show the world that we will not remain silent in the face of anti-Semitism and hate. And we have expanded our Breaking Bread Building Bonds program to bring people from different backgrounds together for a meal. I would also like to congratulate the honorees we pay tribute to this evening. My good friend Jeffrey Goral, the Honorable William Thompson Jr., and Gene Ratchmansky. Thank you once again to JCRC, CEO Gideon Taylor, and all the board members and staff for putting on such a wonderful spring gala. I am Amy Bressman, and I'm honored and privileged to be the president of UGA Federation. I'm so glad to join you in celebrating tonight's honorees and recognizing the vital work of JCRC. We are living in complex times with growing polarization and increased anti-Semitism and anti-Israel rhetoric. We are grateful to have JCRC as our partner as we tackle these issues strategically and effectively. JCRC is a bridge builder across all segments of our diverse, dynamic city. By leveraging relationships with elected officials and community leaders, as well as by working with other faith and ethnic groups, JCRC creates a more interconnected New York. JCRC is our partner in the Community Security Initiative, which plays an essential role in keeping our community safe. And together with JCRC, we are sponsoring missions to Israel for influential New Yorkers, providing Israel education in public schools, combating anti-Semitism on campuses, and finding effective solutions for the difficult challenges of today. In addition to spotlighting the work of JCRC, tonight we honor three very special individuals. Congratulations to Jeff Goral, Jane Rachmansky, and the Honorable William Thompson. These are incredible leaders who care deeply about our community and are critical in moving forward our shared communal vision and agenda. I also want to thank JCRC's leadership, President Van Gollum, Chair of the Board Cheryl Fishbein, the JCRC Board of Directors, and the talented professional team led by CEO Gideon Taylor. Enjoy this very special night.